Hey, this is Tony with Salt Strong, and in this video, we're going to be talking about flats for inshore fishing. I've seen quite a few questions come in as to where you should start, what you should be looking for, and things of that nature. So we'll be talking about that in this video. Now I have a pretty nice flat pulled up here. This is a great example that I'm going to be using and showing pretty much where I would start uh, based on the time of year and also what I like to look for uh, when choosing a flat when pre-planning a trip. So as far as what I like to look for, let's talk about that first. Uh, you notice this flat here, you can see the seagrass right in the middle. That's pretty much a dead giveaway that it is a flat because flats are usually shallow enough that you have a good amount of light penetration into the water where seagrass can grow. If the water is too deep, you really don't get a lot of seagrass growth. So anywhere in that four foot range and shallower, uh, those are typically going to be better flats because, again, you get more sunlight penetration, uh, more grass growth, and the more grass there is, the more life there will be. You'll have much more bait fish, crabs, crustaceans, and all those food items for the bigger predator fish. So it creates a really good food chain on these flats. Now, even though I do like to find a lot of grass, the area within the flat that I like to fish is going to be the area closer to the edges where the grass is a little bit more sporadic, it's more spread out, you have more potholes, because that creates more ambush points for fish. They will actually use these potholes, uh, they'll either sit right in the middle of them or they'll sit right on the edge of the grass, wait for something to come by and that creates a good ambush point for those fish. So areas such as this, along the edge you can see the grass is more spread out it's not as dense as the middle right here so this would definitely be something I would be checking out along the edge also closer to this edge you can see the grass is a little bit more spread out now if you are looking at the map and you see some areas that are sort of spread out near the middle such as uh, something like that where you can see some potholes you see some white bottom there that can definitely be worth checking out as well when you have really dense thick grass and you're not seeing any potholes that can be really tough to fish uh, the fish might be there but they're probably going to be buried in that grass and it's going to be tough to fish unless you use uh, some sort of lure that can help draw them out such as a, a paddle tail or a top water if the grass isn't too high uh, that could be a good choice to get those fish out of that really thick grass but again like i said i like to target the areas that are uh, more sporadic, more spread out, uh, the grass isn't too thick. Now something you'll notice about the edges of this flat, take a look at this edge right here. You'll notice it's pretty deep out here, as you can see that darker color. Then it goes up to a shallow bar right there pretty quickly. It's not a gradual slope such as this side here. You can see the edge a little further out and then it gradually slopes up to the shallow edge right there. Now this is going to come into play when I'm trying to decide where to fish based on the time of year. In the winter time, you want to find those quick depth changes such as this deeper edge right here going up to the shallow very quickly. Because fish don't want to travel too far, especially in the winter time. It's cold, they're very slow, lazy. They don't want to have to travel too far to get food. So when you have a quick depth change like that, those fish can quickly go up to the shallows when those shallows warm up and then they can drop down to the deeper area when it starts cooling down such as overnight. So if I am fishing a flat like this in the winter time most likely I will target the shallows later in the day just because those fish will push up later as that sun starts to warm up the shallows of the flat. And just the opposite in the summertime or the warmer months I will start early in the shallows and then start moving deeper later in the day. But sometimes those fish will definitely hang out uh, wherever they want, whenever they want. So that's when it comes to on the water assessment, what you should be looking for when you're actually out there on the water. If I pulled up to a flat like this and I didn't see birds flying around, I didn't see bait moving around, I didn't see uh, the water moving much, it would be pretty dead and I'd probably go to another flat. So you really want to make sure you're finding signs of life when you get out there to a flat. Let's say I pull up to this side, don't see any activity on this side, but I notice a bunch of birds circling around here. Uh, even if they're just sitting in the water, if they're waiting, if there are birds present, I like to go to that spot on the flat because there's most likely going to be more life over there. Those birds are looking for food just like the fish are. Now if you don't see any birds flying around or they're just kind of sitting in the water not doing much, that's when I would be looking at the surface of the water for activity. 
look for wakes pushing off, especially on flats because of the shallow water. If fish are on the move, if there's a school of fish moving, they're going to create a pretty good sized wake. Uh, look for bait fish activity. If the bait are just kind of casually jumping around, uh, I like to look for bait fish that are getting spooked. They'll typically uh, shoot off very close to the surface of the water, start splashing around. Also, the schools of bait fish will be more tightly packed uh, rather than more spread out and just kind of casually swimming around. So if you do find a school of bait fish that's tightly packed, there's definitely some predators around that are spooking them and, and making them more uh, compact because that offers protection for the bait fish when they're more tightly packed like that. So just a little tip there as far as what you should be looking for when you do actually get out there on the water. Now you may also be fishing flats that are pushed up to a shoreline. Flats can either be out in open water like this one here or it might be a flat running up along a shoreline. And basically the same tactics apply. You're going to have more shallow water uh, closer to the shoreline. Then you're going to have a deeper area that slopes down going out towards the river or the bay or the estuary. Then you may have a shallow sandbar just before that flat uh, stops and then it'll drop off to deeper water. So built pretty much the same, just you have a little bit extra structure closer to the shoreline, uh, shade, wind protection. So that could definitely help out based on the time of year that you're fishing. So if you like these types of lessons for help targeting redfish, sea trout, flounder, snook, black drum, or even tarpon, really any type of inshore species, then you're going to love our Insider Club platform because we actually post videos like this showing the exact type of areas that are holding the most fish every week so that you can always know exactly where to find the best feeding zones. Plus, you'll have access to the past five years of reports that we've actually logged, which is one of the most comprehensive network of helpful inshore saltwater fishing reports on the internet. As you see this map here, this is just a sneak peek of what our members have access to. All of these pins are uh, fishing reports, either member reports or reports that we do on the water showing actual fish catching footage, what we were doing, what we were using to locate fish for that day. Also a huge bonus that you'll be able to take advantage of are the group discounts on all types of your favorite fishing equipment from lures, rods, reels, lines, cast nets to apparel. Uh, since our club now has over 10,000 members spanning from, as you can see here, Texas all the way up to uh, past Virginia and even uh, within the U.S., as you can see, some of these inland states, we have some freshwater fishing reports. So if you're interested in this, definitely visit saltstrong.com to learn more. And best of all, this comes with a 100% guarantee, so you have nothing at all to lose just for giving it a shot. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. Until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.